ELTZ currently at 0205. This was going to be a Pomestone pick over here on Investors Hangout. Uh, really, really good. Like, I, you know, we, we've talked about Pomestone uh, multiple times during our stream. You know, he'll, he'll find these stocks, you know, way down here at the bottom. And then you'll check like a month or two later and look at, I mean, we, we've seen that multiple times with him. And uh, as always, great job. Great job as always. So uh, let's take a look at, this is going to be the last time that we've looked at this one. And he he actually uh, just left a note over here. He picked it up at 0081. Uh, we started following this one uh, at 006. That was going to be right here in this general area. Okay. Zero, zero, six, alert, technical analysis. If buying con continues, this could run. We said that right here, and it dropped back down quite a bit, guys, down to zero, zero, two, four. And that buying really started to pick up. Uh, you guys seen a huge volume spike coming into this one on March 23rd. You guys see that right here. That right there was going to be that volume push to really get this thing going. You guys came back down that 20-day simple moving average. And just as Palmstone said, you're outside that upper Bollinger Band right now. Okay? So you're, you're outside that upper Bollinger Band. Usually when that happens, you tend to get a pullback. We've seen what happened right here. It got outside that upper Bollinger Band and pulled back down to the 20-day simple moving average. My personal opinion, you're probably about at top right now. Uh, the RSI right now is hitting 78. That's not even too, too high. Uh, it's it's up there, but I mean we see these things get up in the 95s, you know. Uh, so it, it's got room to go on the RSI, but you guys are outside that upper Bollinger band. Um, taking a look at there is a gap down here as well. There's a lot of gaps on this one, and I am going to mark them, especially right here. I personally think that you're going to start getting a pullback uh, more than likely, likely possibly tomorrow. Start pulling back on this one. Uh, overall, if we can get a idea here. You guys are gonna have resistance level at the three cent mark. We can see that up here as well. Oop, didn't need that one. All right, that's gonna be a rough estimate right there. Yeah, but it, there isn't much room between there though. If you guys look at uh, what I'm seeing here, you guys got this big candle here uh, from where you're at right now. I mean, I, I would I would expect to see this thing probably pull back and chill out. But recoil off that fairly nicely. There isn't going to be too much between there, guys, to really slow you down, in my opinion. All right, we're going to have one line of support at 0185. Sorry, 015. Yeah, we're going to put that 0158. There we go. So, Joe, what do you got to add on this one? It's been a while, man. It's been mm. since January 27th. Yeah, uh, let's see. On the filings, I'm seeing that there was a an 8K on April 4th. It was received to the April 4th, 2017. Uh, period ending March 29th, 2017. So I'm going to pull it real quick see what's up. Let's see. All right, so it's basically stating on July 11, 2006, Elite Books Incorporated amended its articles of incorporation, changing the name of the corporation to Elite Group. Incorporated company received the approval of approximately 67% of its outstanding shares of the common stock for the amendment to its articles of incorporation. The name change was effective on July 22nd, 2016, with the Secretary of State of Nevada. The company will begin will be trading on the OTC Pink and the OTC markets on the Elite Group Incorporated effective March 29th, 2017. The company symbol remains ELTZ. So that's it. <clears throat> so that was that from the summer, and it was just there was an EK on it, you know, last week. Let's see what else. All right, so I don't see any recent news either. I mean, the pink current, and I'm not really seeing a lot on the company. I want to see what they do though. I'll go to their profile. Right there. 
Oh yeah, so this one um <clears throat> their website's up, but it's basically uh it's not active yet. Like it's probably something's being built or whatever because it says future home of something quite cool. So that's what's there right now, parked on it. So I guess it's something we'll have to sit back and wait on to see something cool come up. All right, um if you have an opinion on a company or looking to do more due diligence on it, just go right over to that that EL. Let me pull this back. This uh, ELTZ board on investors hang out from there. You'll see the company profile, the time and sales, the recent news, the filings, the financials, the buy rating. As always, if you have an opinion on it, feel free to share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have used in the site daily. Let's see. All right. Zero two might be getting ready for a pullback. Like I say, I, I mean, we, we try to cover these stocks at every angle, and I, I do mention that quite a bit, guys. We look for them down here. Like I said, over here, te alert, technical analysis at zero zero six. Got to time that bottom, and we try to time the top as well. Uh, stocks go uh, go both ways. I can't sit here right here and say, oh, it's going it's going on alert, it's going on alert, and then like six months later, be like, oh. Yeah, it's dropped a lot since. I'm sorry I didn't go back to that one. Uh, we do try to cover both ends of this, uh, going up and coming back down. Usually that's what happens with stocks. Uh, right now you guys are outside that upper Bollinger Band completely, but now you have two gaps, and let me point that out. Might be getting ready to pull back, in my opinion. Resistance at 0203, support at 0158. Gaps at 0183 and 0190. That gap that we see right here is going to be the first one, and the second one at 0081 and 00. 9-2. It's going to be over here as well. Uh, will those both fill? I don't know about this one. I really don't know. Uh, my personal opinion is that this one definitely will more than likely possibly tomorrow. Pull back down a little bit uh, right here. We'll see. You guys are overextended. Either way, though, really nice moves. Doesn't take much volume to move this one, which is also a good sign. So ELTZ, if you follow this one, definitely encourage you to make sure uh, you hit that like and subscribe button. We'd appreciate that very much. Get out there and share this video with all other investors on different social networks and different stock message boards. That'd be great. If you have a hot stock you'd like to share with us as well, let us know over at investorshangout.com forward slash live.